Tapemetrix Laser Foreign Object Debris Detection System, or LFOD, uses high-speed cameras, custom optics, and laser line projectors to acquire both 2D images and high-resolution 3D profiles of airport runways, taxiways, and aprons in order to automatically detect even the smallest foreign object debris at highway speeds. What you're viewing at present is the inspection software which comes bundled with the LFOD. This software can be configured to run automatically while driving the inspection vehicle, alerting the driver to the presence of FOD through audio alarms or in offline mode as I'm doing now for this demonstration. The first thing I'm going to do is explain some of the content on the screen. The two images you see come from separate LFOD sensors. A total of six sensors can be combined for scanning purposes. Scans from individual sensors are merged or stitched together automatically. There are actually two streams of data from each sensor. The first stream is intensity data, as can be seen in this image on the right, and the second stream is range data, as can be seen in this image on the left. Intensity data essentially provides a high-resolution image of the runway or taxiway that was scanned. Range data provides a 3D component to the intensity image, allowing us to spot features such as cracks, which extend beneath the top surface of the pavement, and FOD, which extends above the top surface of the pavement. As you can notice with the naked eye, there are a number of FOD present in these images. However, I'd like to show you the capabilities of the algorithm to automatically detect them. As you can see in the image here, the algorithm has detected multiple pieces of FOD which are indicated by both highlighting the FOD and drawing a circle around it. This is a feature which is particularly useful for small FOD such as nuts and bolts or bits of aggregate. The algorithm is able to compute various statistics regarding the FOD in real time such as average height and area. And if we hover over one of these FOD we can see these statistics. These data can be used to classify FOD into different severity levels which can be seen here throughout the use of different colors for different bits of FOD red being high severity, orange being moderate severity, and green being low severity. In this way, thresholds can be set for audio alarms so that the driver is alerted only in the event that high-risk FOD are detected. Upon detection, the driver can elect to stop the vehicle and retrieve the FOD, or pass the FOD detection data to another vehicle or staff member for retrieval. The results of the analysis, including JPEG images and XML files which contain the GPS coordinates of the FOD, as well as its dimensions, are all automatically saved in real time and may be reviewed after the fact as this sample Google Earth report demonstrates. As you can see here, we have an image of each detected FOD as well as its relevant statistics and location. This is a useful feature as it allows an authority to build a database of detected FOD location, quantity as well as physical dimensions, and track it over time. Thank you for watching this brief demonstration of the LFOD system. For further details, please feel free to contact us at pavemetrics.com.